I only record a JoJo video every two months from having back another video. And um, I only record a JoJo video every two... Yes. Alright, listen. Um, so, Chapter 9, I did the video April 6th, 2024. It is currently June 28th. We'll catch up one day. Either I'll stop doing the fucking series or we'll catch up one day. Because I'm going to catch up one way or the other. It just may not be recorded. Anyway, um, the only thing I remember vividly is that they tried to run off of the plug with a diamond. And they got away with it because of the power of the, not the Rokakaka, but the, the Lava Rock. Uh, and then we got Jodeo uh, being intercepted by some fake Paco. This is an incredible panel. Uh, cover, rather, I guess I should say. Uh, so you got Jodeo. So it, I guess, like, his top of his hair is green, then, like, he has, like, these orange accents. Then I guess, like, the color changes for Jodeo characters OD in colorized panels. So it's not, like, this might not be his official color. And those flowers, I know a lot of people, like, kind of theorize, like, part of. Look into the video. It's been fucking two months since I've done a video. Let's just get into the video. Um, Dragon is just such a droopy character, bro. I don't use the word droopy lightly because I'm fucking 25. I'm not fucking 18. And I can't use the word lightly because that's not like a boom when I use it. But the design of Dragona and his general aura. I'm getting it right finally. His, his general aura is a uh, very uh, a droopy. Kailua Kona Flight Waiting Time, Part 2. That's my Hawaiian accent. Not at all close, but I did my best. Uh, so Fake Paco brought the fucking rapier and some type of sword out. It's not actually a rapier, but actually it might. It's a pretty skinny sword. Uh, sliced the nigga across the neck, just broke him open real quick. Paco, not there for his own boy. Is he translucent or is he breaking apart? Uh, I guess it'd be transparent. He looks transparent. He also is happening to break apart, though. Who the hell are you? Why would you sit there and ask a nigga with a sword that, that's as fast as this guy appeared to be? Yo, finally that ability does something useful. It's like the first time this does something worthwhile this entire series. Do the hustle. Tremble, tremble, tremble. Is that like his own like background music? Like other fucking... A noise that comes on, he does something useful in this fucking series. Do the hustle. Smack the shit out of him, yeah. Oh, hey, I haven't even seen a, an ora in, in this series yet. Okay. I'm saying that like I remember these fucking chapters I did like a year. I, just, I think the series has been going for two years now. I can't even pretend like I remember like chapter one. I actually kind of remember part of chapter one, but that's about it, you know? Smack the fuck out of him. Um, he's just going to town with that, uh, and those appliances and kitchen cutlery and all that bullshit. Was that a stand that dirt looking stuff around his face? It's a texture, it's real sand. A rock fragment. A rock for Okay, there we go. You understand what I'm going with there. Is this a potentially a rock human? Um, he has the kind of these like borders that we saw the transparent panel a little bit. I think Dragon's looking at him, kind of like a side, like a dog. I think that's what's happening here with his eye, I think. Anyway, um, then you got like this kind of like, that might be a real him type thing, I guess. I don't know. But it's clearly like a box around his eyes. That so happens to be my area of expertise. Paco, the tough guy. No one had given the rock over, as you would imagine. A stand, I would think, is just so he can use the dirt to or rock to change his um, appearance, but there might be more to it. Is this the first hand-to-hand -hand violence we've had this entire series? I think it might be. I don't think series, I mean like this part, not like the general series, you know. Okay, so he blocked the, the knife. We'll call it a knife, I guess. 
blocked it into the pole and they used the muscle to is it like okay so he take trans I don't think transmute it but he basically took because he's holding the sword the reverberation from his arm and connected to the sword reverberates through the sword and basically like fucked up fucked up his shoulder I guess Either that or his muscle ability allows him to control the muscles of other people if they're connected to him. That's probably a more likely scenario, honestly. But either way, he basically went through a fuck guy's arm up. Oh no. Let's see, so he's grabbing them. He has one arm behind his back. Probably pulling like the, the get the strap worth a fifty cent. How about a strangle you? Oh, he got another sword. Okay. That's what that was. I couldn't tell whether he had like a bag or some shit like that. He's had another sword in the, in the cut. Wait. Okay. So, I, I know it's a sword. I didn't like think about his arm. There's no arm here. Sword. No arm. Here's... In my head, I'm just wondering the AC went off previously. I just didn't even notice it. But... So, the, it's like almost in the clouds. But you can kind of make out, like, the hand and kind of connectivity. Like, the wrist, you know. I mean, it starts crumbling apart a little bit. Which I think means is you're going to be able to see the arm. Yeah. So it was being masked by the rock or whatever. And now it's there. Uh, he punched the fuck out of him again. <laughs> his reaction time is actually pretty impressive. Like, the knife is basically, like, by his head. He senses it and then punches the fuck out of him before he can even connect the knife. What the hell is the dirt falling around? This guy fuses left arm in the image of the clouds and the sky behind him. I like to think of it transparency, but stick a <laughs> stick a band-aid on it or something. <laughs> it's got like a damn knife, uh his throat knifed open. It's like, yeah, just just uh just figure it out, bro. Try like the transparent eyes. He starts thinking with eyes, man. That's not a good sign for anybody. Uh, okay, so it's trying to show me, like, I guess, the what led up to the, the knifing, right? So you got Jodeo. You got a, a fist. Okay, this is probably his neck, I would imagine. Jodeo getting next to me. I can't see him, but he's here. He's like a little chirping noise. The skin's kind of like sand. I like he's just having this full-on conversation with Jodeo who can't fucking respond. That's very high basketball IQ play there. Looks like they all worked out fine. Yep, we're perfect. Which, I was to tell you, this will not be perfect whatsoever. Man, where'd Rohan get this young be trying to drink until age 20? So Dragon is under age 20? I know Dragon is, I think Dragon is 18, I believe. Oh, so he went to go to them instead. Okay, the, the rock guy. Well, maybe not. Because they're in the same area. And he's, like, bleeding from his mouth. Maybe not. Okay. Okay. I'm going... I'm sure it's going to make its way back to me eventually, even though what we did with the rock felt kind of illegal. It moves things worth money through the means of people's feelings. You bet we won't lose that diamond either. So, basically, when... when Things are explained like a definite sense by characters in JoJo. Usually, like, that's a real explanation for what's happening. Like, in the heat of the moment, they didn't understand what was happening entirely. But they learned. Now that we're going to kind of recap, that's basically a rocket telling like, this is how it works. It moves things worth money, basically.
Oh, Dragona can talk. And actually put a band-aid on it. What the hell? It's somebody who knows more about us. Who knows more than us about the lava rock. Okay. I don't know where Dragona... Dragona. His name's Dragona. No, Jodeo. I don't know where Jodeo got a band-aid at. Paco's a freak guy. He knows. He knows what he's talking about. If he's a real mafioso or pro knife user, you wouldn't just got away with that grazing your neck. Well, that is true. If he was trying to kill Jodeo, he got a clear strike, and he did not kill him. He just cut his neck open a little bit. I couldn't tell the difference between him and the clouds that were kilometers away. That's why I thought transparency. I don't know if any of the other rock humans had stains. Like from Blast Bart, uh, Jojo Lands, or Jojo Dolian. Uh, I don't know if they had stains. I don't remember if they did or didn't. Toru did, but I don't think Toru was a rock human. Like, all the people under Toru that were, like, doing dirty work, I don't think he had stains. I may be wrong about that. It's clearly a rock human, though. Like, that's... I think that's a definite. He looks kind of like, uh, Jobin. A little bit. Not Jobin. Um, jo Joshu. I love it, Leo Kuhn. It's made you even more dazzling than usual. This why it really fits your glistening skin perfectly, doesn't it? Those who they came out the wash stop. That's the same one they just had, right? I'm going in the wrong direction. That's the same one, right? That's the ugly ass watch, man. It's like gaudy. I love that. This is a nigga that got hella money as a nerd. A uh, jabroni as Kendrick Lamar would say. Or like Dwayne Johnson. Think of it as the watch is in, moving from inside the store to the outside. And it didn't get kicked out of the place or anything, right? So it's looking like it's coming back to you already. That sure didn't take long. Look at fucking Dragona's face in this panel. Good lord. Uh, due to careless causes unrelated to us, it came out of the store due to their feelings. Okay. Huh. They just gotta wait until the watch is theirs. Dragona and the greed, man. You're going to want that fucking watch bad, dude. It's got food scraps from french fries and sauce orange. Some orange sauce they brought to their mouth. Ugh. Fucking vision. It's just... It's bad visual. Go to the car. Don't worry about the watch. We finally these first to or watch it. And you're going to greed, man. It's just... On one stop in this long journey to eventually come back to us. There's defilement to consider. Or Faluzi, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, this, this language, this, this face, I've not seen a face this like of this much disgust in this part or I mean, in the series that really at all. What I've read, like, you're going to this fucking disgusted with this person. <laughs> and when one of the birds takes the watch, I want to get dropped off the Dragona. I feel like I'm about to get cut up right before the watch gets to him. To where the lava rock is. You don't touch the watch. Oh, the watch the fake. Um, hmm. Yeah, there we go. So that's the fake. Okay. <laughs> so they, he emulated uh, a fucking bird. One. He also emulated the watch somehow as well. And uh, he's about to pull his sword out and fucking stab the going in the throat. Oh, he did, oh he got the lava uh lava rock wow. and he stabbed Dragona as well he got he did both Dragona you greedy fuck damn he he was a little bit better this time I I can't tell you how many times I've seen someone just get fucking impaled in this series like, oh my god they're gonna die. I can't even like take death serious like the first part. The first, I'd say about 15 chapters, 20 chapters of a Dragona, a Dragona, a Jodeo, a Jodeo part. I can't take death serious. Like, this dude got stabbed in his fucking throat. I guarantee you he's alive. I guarantee you for a fact he's alive. But uh, he did get speed blitz there. I, I can't call it speed because he didn't know he was there. So it's not even necessarily speed blitzing, I guess, but he got blitz. Yeah, he definitely got blitz. Damn, Dragona got fucked up, man. 
My man's like, yo. And he had the lava rock too. What's the sound? Do 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 do. Do 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 do. November rain. Oh, pissed off Joe Star. Let's go. That's that's all I need. Smooth operators. Pull the wound slide and pull it outside. Like flip the wound around. I guess you can do that and then like use. Um. What am I thinking? Like. Stitches. Like you can do stitches and stitch it together. But at the same time, it's like... It's like an open artery, I would imagine, that's somewhere in there. Is. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Dragona knows more about medicine than I do. I think you're probably going to try to close the wound from the insides and, like, the veins, the artery. Because that would have been an artery stab, I would imagine. Uh, do that, repair that, and then close the wound up. If you think about how many of these parts about like a healing type person, um, a lot of them have. This one may not have a healing type person, but we've seen people heal to this point, so you're gonna could be healing. Nature is healing, and I think Jodio is gonna be doing some killing <laughs> pretty soon here. <laughs> Jody's gonna be fucking pissed off, man. Shout out to Jodio. Uh, that's gonna be it here. We got how far we're back. We we're we're more back behind than we were. Last time I tried this and failed to catch up. So let me see here. This is chapter 10. Um, I don't think I got a good thumbnail, but how the hell do I... Please, man. Get me the fuck out of here. I can't fucking escape to get the hell out of here. What the fuck? People pay something? Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, we're, uh, we're one, two, three, four, five. So we're half a year behind, basically. Assuming that every month there's been a drop we're half a year behind that's gonna be fucking terrible but we're gonna keep on trying our best to catch up and one day we will i don't know when that day will be but one day we will peace